Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a looping PowerPoint introduction for your presentations. <coughs> now what this is, is I want this kind of continuous loop happening so that when the audience arrive for the presentation and they're settling down, they're getting their tea and coffee, they're introducing themselves to each other etc there is this continuous loop of slides happening either creating a buzz or kind of setting the scene for the presentation uh, you know, reducing nerves or creating anticipation anything that you might need to do convey some basic information before you start anything you might want now as a simple example here I've got got three slides that I've literally just written slide one, slide two on <laughs> I'm going to pretend to the body of this presentation and then I have the actual intro slides themselves I'll pretend to do this sort of Italian lakes sort of theme here so I've got four very basic slides I'm not spending too much time on them they have a picture and then a, a kind of fact about the Italian lakes now I would like these four slides to be in a continuous loop just these four. Now I'll say this for the introduction. And you notice I've put the four slides at the end, which might look quite strange. They will appear at the start, but I wanted to put them at the end so that they don't affect uh, any slide numbering that I could potentially use in my presentation. That's the reasoning behind that. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is we will need to set the timings for these four slides so I'm going to hold down my control key and select the four slides that make up the introduction of the presentation in my case four five six and seven I'll pop to the transitions tab along the top choose an effect so maybe I'll go for a push effect set any other effect options you may be interested in so I might have it pushed from the right and most of, important of all once you've chosen an effect that you're happy with is to specify that the, re the way to advance <coughs> will not be mouse click it will be after a specified time and I'm going to use two seconds here as the time for me and that is the timings so that will move each slide after two seconds now next step, to get the two sections, if you will, the introduction and then the actual presentation, uh, we need to create two custom shows. And we're going to have to link between two. So at the moment the presenter wants to actually start presenting, they can click a button and that will exit their loop and begin the presentation. So for custom shows, we're going to the slide show tab custom slideshow, custom shows. I have no shows at the moment, so I'll click new, and I'll call the first show intro. And I'm going to select slides four, five, six, and seven, and add them across as they will form my intro show. Click OK, and kind of repeat the step in reverse order for the body. Now you can call these whatever you wish. I've gone for intro and body here. That'll be slides one, two, and three. That's the actual presentation. Add them across and click OK. And close it down. So I've got two, I've split this presentation, this PowerPoint file, into two different shows an intro and a body. Okay, next step. We need to create a link between the two so it will move from the introduction into the necessary slide for the body. For this we'll need to insert a shape and set an action to it. So I'm going to move to slide 4 here, the first slide of my intro uh, show. I'm going to the insert tab into shapes and I'm going to draw a rectangle shape pretty much covering the whole slide over the top. Now initially by default this shape will be blue so it's going to look a bit silly because that's just going to 
yeah, take over the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to leave it as that for one moment because I'm going to pop back to the insert tab and go for action. I want to send action for this button, if you will. <coughs> if I click action there, sorry. Um, I'll choose hyperlink to, and we're going to link it to a custom show. And the custom show will be the body show. Ensure that show and return is unchecked. We're going to link to the body show. That is done. Click OK. And then we'll look at hiding this. So this button now, when clicked, will move to slide one, essentially, the first slide of the body show. I now want to make this invisible. So I'll go to the Format tab, Shape Fill, No Fill, and then Shape Outline, <coughs> No Outline. So you can see uh, just about a kind of blue border, or blue outline to it at the moment. We'll choose No Outline. So it doesn't look like there is any shape there. You can't see it, but it is there, and it does have a clickable link to it to go to the body show. Now, immediately after undoing that formatting, I still have that shape selected. So I'm going to take a copy of that shape. I'm just going to do Control C to take a copy of that shape. I'm simply going to click on the other slides of the intro show and paste that button or that shape onto each one of them slides. So now all four slides have that button on there to move to the body show. So no matter what point of the loop it's on, the presenter can start the presentation. Okay, so our last step is to set up the show so that it plays the intro show first. So at the moment, the intro is slide four. I need it to start with that. And then to also set a continuous loop. At the moment, it will move from four, five, six to seven every two seconds because of the transition effect. But it will not move from seven back to four until we do this. So it's a slideshow tab. Uh, we're going for setup slideshow. I'm moving for the custom show. Now I'm going to choose intro to be the show that plays. And then the checkbox on the left to loop continuously until escape. There are two steps. So now if I click OK, and we've got to give this a try, haven't we? If I press uh, the from beginning uh, button on our slideshow tab here, to play the slideshow from from the beginning, which because of what we just did will be slide four, the intro. And here it is moving that's not quite over two seconds, is it? <laughs> it's still a fast enough fault. But um we can see the continuous loop happening here. So it moves through slide to slide. Need it a lot slower than that, come on. But uh we can see it working. And the moment I click a button that will break out of that show and will move here we go to slide one of my presentation and act as normal okay I'm going to exit that slideshow and that is how we can create an introduction loop effect to your PowerPoint presentations. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.